something that I realized during this process was just how little I didn't know about my grandma's life. And now that she's gone, I just want to get to know the woman that I admired so much. I don't just want to remember her by stories or by memories or by pictures. I want to physically carry her with me everywhere that I go. So I've set up an appointment for tomorrow to get my very first tattoo. To adornment, piercing, and private tattoo. So I'm on my way to get my very first tattoo. I am very nervous. I'm very excited because this is like a new experience in my life that I haven't, you know, dealt with, that I haven't come across, and I'm really excited to see how this goes and the experience overall. I got in contact with my tattoo artist. His name is Neri. He is awesome. I will go ahead and link all his information down below. But I went ahead and emailed him and I asked him if it was okay if I could film the process and he said yes that he had no problem with me filming so I get to document the whole thing so I'm really excited about that my boyfriend and I are going to the tattoo place so get in the back seat Just got to the tattoo place it's right behind me we're like about 10 minutes ahead of time so i thought that i would break down for you guys what exactly i wanted to do because i don't think i told you so i'm gonna get the tattoo like right here like in this part of like my back um and i looked up a diagram of like the pain level it would be to get it in that spot there's like this chart right here that i found online and in that particular spot that i want it has like the yellow mark and the yellow stands for like very low pain level so it shouldn't be too bad so we're gonna go inside right now and get this tattoo let's go realized that I never showed you guys a reference picture of the tattoo I wanted to get but I think before I do that I need to explain a couple things first so my grandma's middle name was Lilia which I assume derives from the word Lily now I'm not exactly sure if lilies were her favorite flower but I think they're really pretty and the main point here is the correlation between how similar her middle name is to the flower. I ended up deciding that I wanted to get not one, but two lilies tattooed on me. This is the reference picture that I sent to my tattoo artist. Later in the video, you'll see his revision of the tattoo, which I think is even better because it's an original and it's not just a straight copy of this picture. But the reason why I chose something similar to this was because I wanted the bigger flower to symbolize my grandma and how she protected me and helped me grow as an individual. And the smaller flower represents me, flourishing from the knowledge and love that she gave me. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly explain that for you. I'm gonna go ahead and press play for you now, so enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so um, the tattoo artist just came back and gave me his sample of what he redrew of my picture, the reference picture that I gave him. I was like struggling to see which one I wanted more, but my boyfriend was like, oh my God, well. <laughs> This one, the big flower, symbolizes your grandma still, but like you, this is you in the background, and like she's like helping you grow and like flourish, so it was like, it kind of sold me, you know? I'm gonna go for this one. I think it's cute. I like it. So I'm excited. So you pretty much want it centered, right? Yes. Yeah. I wish like this was it. Like he just laid the stencil down and like I'm like, oh thanks. I'm gonna show you. But no. Should I get my nose pierced or my ears pierced?
guys, so I'm back home from the tattoo shop, obviously. I've been home for a couple of hours already. I took a nap, I took off my makeup. Um, I was just really tired. I mean, who knew that getting a tattoo could be so exhausting? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but um, I was actually really tired. I don't know why that whole process kind of like really drained my whole being. I just felt like I needed to take a moment to kind of mentally and emotionally prepare myself for what's gonna happen next. So as you guys know, my grandma was taken from me really unexpectedly and I never got the chance to properly say goodbye or tell her how much she meant to me. So I wanna do that now. I bought these wish lanterns so that I could get everything that I've ever really wanted to say to my grandma in hopes that wherever she is that she could hear me. I also think that wish lanterns are really pretty to watch and it also kind of symbolizes me sending like my wishes up to heaven where I think she is. I made a list on my phone of wishes that I would like for her to know and that I want to be out in the open. So I'm gonna read them for you guys and then I'm gonna set the lantern free. I wish that I could talk to you again. I wish that you could have seen me graduate from high school. I wish that you could have seen me get accepted into college. I wish that you could have met the love of my life. But if you're watching over me now, I hope that you love me just as much as I do. I wish you could watch me get married and have kids of my own someday. I wish that you could see what I'm doing now and know that the little girl that you raised has grown into a young woman who is fearlessly chasing her dreams. I wish that if you could see me, that you'd be proud of the person that I'm becoming. I wish I told you how much that you impacted my life, but I'm positive that you already knew how much. I wish that I didn't have to live my life without you, but I carry you with me now and every day with this tattoo that I have of you. I wish I could tell you that you were my favorite too, but most importantly, I wish and I hope and I pray and I dream of the day that I'll get to see you again. I love you so much. You ready? I'm gonna let it go. Late at night when all the world is sleeping I stay up and think of you Cause I'm dreaming